Hi there, it's Miles again for Miles on Motion. In today's episode, we look at the basics of motion controllers. In the basic block diagram of a typical motion control system, let's focus on the first block, the motion controller. Motion controllers are the brains of any motion control system. They take the input command from the user, compare it with the feedback signal from the motor, and take corrective action to bring the output, or actual position, and input, or desired position, in line with one another. Motion controllers also create the trajectories that the motors follow in order to meet the desired commands. Also called motion profiles, a profile is a sequence of position commands versus time. This tells the motor where to position the load and how fast it must do so. The motion controller uses the trajectories it creates to generate the proper torque commands. These torque commands are then sent to the drive, which power the motor and create motion. Because of the high amount of processing necessary for these actions, motion controllers typically use DSPs, or digital signal processors, for this task. This is an example of a trapezoidal profile. Other common profiles include ramp, sinusoidal, and complex polynomial profiles. We'll look at these and other profiles in greater detail in upcoming episodes.